So obviously we had an insane budget this year. So we just had an awesome family member bring by another $500 worth of fireworks. No, hit, hit the red button. Ah! No, the red button, the red button. Yeah, hold on. Okay. There you go. Okay. That's how you do it on July 4th. You guys know what time it is. It is the 4th of July. I can barely believe that it's already here. We've got a ton of fireworks in my pickup and my wife's car that we'll show you here in just a moment. 500 gram cakes, double stacked. It filled up the entire pickup bed. On this side of the pickup, we have more 500 gram cakes. Right over here on this side of the pickup, would you believe it, we have more fireworks. I'm in the pickup and fireworks are my passenger. In my wife's vehicle, we have more 500 gram cakes. Just gonna open up her side door here. Oh, look at that, more fireworks. Um, so these are actually really interesting. Let me pull one out for you. So these are called water cakes and they're kind of angled like that, but they're only angled one way. So we have some very creative uh, things we're gonna do with these tonight. So I think you guys have a good grasp on how many fireworks we brought out here tonight. And they're all going to get shot off just like every other year. I hope all of you viewers at home are having a great 4th of July. My name is Cody B Pyrotechnics and I do this stuff year round. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for year round firework videos. So obviously we have a couple hours worth of setup to do. So I will get back to you guys when I have things more organized and then I'll explain how we're going to shoot everything off. So obviously we had an insane budget this year. Let's uh, show you what we got and then we're gonna finish the setup. So we've got a 220 shot zipper cake here called Crazy Bullets. Um, in total, we probably spent like 7,000, I wanna say. Uh, so then we've got Pelican Lake here, that's a water cake. We've got Lake of the Woods. Then we have Lake Ida, Detroit Lakes, and Red Lake. Now, everything over here is a water cake, so it's gonna shoot at one angle the entire time. And basically what that's gonna look like is camera's gonna be positioned way over there. And then I'm gonna shoot these cakes over to the camera. So it'll be like 3D effects, super cool. We've got Cartel Night here by Wise Guy. Battle of Lexington, Icon, that's a new cake by Brothers. America First by Raccoon. Singularity, The Rocky Horror, Oktoberfest, that's a classic by Brothers Pyrotechnics. We have Death Magnetic. I had to get it because of the Star Wars graphic on there. Me and my brother are Star Wars nerds, so he's gonna appreciate this one when he sees it. Then we have a 20 shot angled cake here by Black Scorpion, that one's called Geronimo. Um, you'll notice we've only got two NOABs this year, and the reason for that is because of the firework shortage. We actually couldn't find these back home, so I could only get, I really could only get two of them, both of them by Wise Guy, all shells possible. And you're noticing like we've got four and six of the same cake, that's because we buy all of our fireworks by the case. It's a lot cheaper, you save a ton of money. So like when I say six to seven thousand dollars worth of product here, you'd actually be getting way less at retail price versus wholesale, like we buy. Then we got the Reaper by Raccoon. I believe that's a new one. We have Hit Girl here by Sky Pioneer, and this one is Hog Wild. I believe this is one of the only cakes that we shot last year. That one's by Wise Guy. And then last but not least for the 500 gram cakes, we've got Fire in the Hole by Happy Family. Just shot that one off last night. It was really good. And something we didn't do last year, but we're going to try this year, I actually brought out some canister shells. These are the Tiger Power by White Tiger brand. You get 24 canister shells in a kit, and then this is the rack we're gonna be firing them out of. I'm gonna fuse them all together, and that's probably gonna go up with the finale. And you guys might notice these items right here. Those are just some items that we brought out for the kids to enjoy while we're shooting the big boy fireworks off. So we've been setting up for about two hours now in the heat, and it's super hot out today. So we are about to take a nice little break in this air conditioned shop. Wait till you guys see it in here. We've got patriotic napkins, some epic 4th of July food. We've got this sick pool table all to ourselves. Eight ball corner pocket. Don't you dare. 
paddle boards for days. Every drink you could possibly imagine. We got even more fireworks over here. Check this out. A whole bunch of goodies I'm seeing. We've even got cases of them right there. Look at this assortment pack. This is all like the kid stuff they're gonna have fun with before we let off the big stuff. But uh, I'm noticing some of these are pretty big too. Um, I know we've got this one here in the show. And yeah, lots of, uh, lots of goodies right there. Even more fireworks. A ping pong table. A couple ATVs in case we want to hit the trails. And of course, my favorite part of the entire shop and the 4th of July. It's nice to get done about two hours before shoot time. Just sit down and relax in the air conditioned shop until it's time to make some noise. Well, our break is over and it's time to go back to set up. So what I'm going to do is get all of these canister shells loaded into that rack in three, two, one. And just like that, all of our canister shells are in the rack. Now we're just going to run some quick fuse around the edges here. Just finished fusing up our canister shell rack. You can see what I did here with the fuse, just come from this way all the way around. And those are the Tiger Power shells. Those are probably gonna go up with the finale. So we just had an awesome family member bring by another $500 worth of fireworks. Sounds good to me. I know what you guys are thinking. It looks like chaos and you're right. <laughs> so we pretty much have everything set up at this point and now we're just going to explain how we're going to fire this display. So what you guys are looking at right here, these four cakes are the opener. That means that is the first thing to fire and we have all four of them that are gonna be hooked up to the Ignite firing system, which is kind of new. This is only my third time using it. But basically you hook it up right to your phone and then you just push one and then the red button, it fires the cakes. So that is what the opener is gonna look like. So if any of you guys have seen my 4th of July displays from past years, you know it's just totally chaotic and there's a ton of stuff going on. To help you guys out a little more this year, I'm going to be hooking up a phone right here in wide angle to show you what I'm doing here on the ground. I know it would be ideal to put the names of what's going off in the bottom right screen, but here's the problem with that. There's gonna be like four or five things going off at one time. So it's gonna be really hard to do that. So anyway, continuing with the setup, you'll notice we have all these water cakes right here and we did something kind of cool with this. So you'll notice how each one of these water cakes, you got uh, five on each side, they're all angled that way, okay? So each of those cakes is gonna shoot way down range over there. And then on the complete opposite end of the fireworks setup, you'll see we have more water cakes right here and five more right there. So we've got 10 in total over here and then 10 in total over there. These ones are angled that way, so they're gonna make a crisscross in the air. So they go off, those will be shooting over this way and these will be shooting over that way. So walking on back to our starting point, I'm just gonna give you a quick overview as to how this is gonna go down. So basically the way I do my displays is I go back and forth between both rows. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit this cake fire in the hole and then as soon as that's going off I'm gonna walk over here to this row wait for that one to get almost done then I'm gonna light that however we've got multiple different stations on this display so immediately after that opener goes off we go right into the water cakes we'll go back and forth between those two rows then we're gonna do this back and forth but remember how I said multiple stations so we're gonna have to turn completely around and show you guys over here then I kind of forgot to show you guys this long row of 500 gram cakes, but that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. It's the same thing over there, just flipped. So after these two main rows, that is going to be the starter of our display. And then coming over here, these are the multiple different stations I was talking about. So obviously we had a family member who brought by like $500 worth of extra fireworks. So we just kind of have those in a line. And basically if I feel like the firework display is going kind of slow, I'm just gonna come over here and hit a couple of these zipper cakes to pick up the pace. Got a couple more Noabs right there. Bunch of fun stuff right there. That's a whole nother station. And then moving over, obviously we got the water cakes and then there's two more Noabs. And then coming over here, we've got this, which is really gonna be the grand finale. So a full 24 rack of canister shells. And then this row right here is just a continuation of that row way over there. The reason we kind of had to split it down the middle right there is because there's this tree, if I can get a shot of that tree. And then um, you guys will notice the gap right there too. We kind of had to do that on purpose. So that is what the body of the show looks like. And then we've got our finale stations right here. So it's basically this entire row 
Then we've got that row and the canister shells to end it all off. And just so you guys know, there is over 1,000 shots in the finale alone. So we are almost ready to shoot all of these fireworks off, but before we do, I just want to thank all you guys again for the continued support. These last two years have been a blast, literally, um, and we are about to do another 4th of July show for all you guys as well. And just a quick reminder, we are going to be filming the Ground Zero stuff, so everything that I do down here is going to play right after the display footage. And with that, we are ready to shoot the Cody B Pyrotechnics 4th of July Fireworks 2021 in three, two, one. Look at all those boats out there on the lake, just here waiting to watch our show. It's a weird feeling, but a very good one. Okay, now go. Here it goes. Two. Wait, 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 no, wait. Two. Oh. There hit you go. Two. No, hit, hit the red button. Ah! No, the red button, the red button. Hold on. Okay. There you go. Okay. Hey, wait, wait, wait. There you go, go to your turn. There you go, hit the red button. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Hit the red okay, button. There you go, go, Link. Go, go, go.
that's how you do it on July 4th.